person that owned this before me, or one of the previous owners, has used self tappers and because the clips are probably broken. sockets got an extension but The radiator assembly is attached to this frame, which in turn is connected here and the few bolts behind the headlight. So in order to get to them, I need to take the, the headlight off. I'm just using a T20. There's just three screws that hold it in position.
two, or one on the top. Slightly different size. T25. Don't need to take it all the way out. And that should just move forward and then undo the delights itself. Same on the other side, then I can release the whole frame forward and disconnect the pipes to the rear. Seven. Okay, that's all that needs. This is the old radiator and you can see the screw that went in through the floor pan. This is the old radiator that's coming out. Doesn't look like it's in too bad a condition but obviously a hole is going to make it an impossible one to keep. Uh, the new one, it's brand new, uh, just £30, one slot in there, which sure just drops in there nicely, uh, and then on top the, we can reattach the fan. So the clips into there, and then the reverse. When you're taking it off, you need to push that down to pull that up. Short clips in. Good. And then these two screws that we took out earlier will go into the top here. One on that side, one on the other. a little bit of white grease just in case I need to take it off a moment start thinking about putting this back on the car. One last. Next go back on just to secure the cowling back onto the front is this little one-off nut the fixed washer in place. Uh, everything gets a smearing of grease now. Pop that in. T25. 
27. All that needs. Just put a 40 mil Jubilee clip on, so it's a 30 to 40. Um, and then my job is to line up with that. Um, before I do that, I'm going to screw up a little bit of grease on it. So if I do need to tighten that up anymore, which I don't think I will do, at least I can get to it. So the original fitting that held the floor cowling onto the body, uh, with a little combination of clips and mild steel stuff, um, I think there's a much simpler solution, so I'm just going to use a number plate, a plastic nut and bolt uh, that holds a number plate on. Um, considering where it's going, I think that's probably the best answer. Uh, 